Hey, so this is what I've been doing with myself with all this time I've had. Um, I, uh, there's a wiring issue. Uh, the brown lines don't work. The brown wires, the, uh, the running lights don't work. So I've been hunting for some sort of disconnect in the, in the brown lines. I can't, I can't find anything. So the brake lights work, turn signals work. Um, I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with that or take it to a place. But, you know, if it has to be ripped apart, I don't know. So I'll keep the, the back here because there's a bunch of wires up there free. And I got wires here I'll just cover with a piece of, um, piece of paneling um, on this side too. So as you know, if you've been following... Oh, my hand. Okay, wee Fun. Okay, nauseous yet? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um... I'm working on the trailer again because I had to rip it out because of water damage and stuff. Sealed the roof. So here we go. So I put in these E-Tracks. I don't know if you can see. They're the vertical ones. And I got the uh, the wood beam lock brackets. Let's see here. You just see pull this clip forward and lift and then it comes out. So that's what it is. And it just goes back in real easy. So you can adjust the height. And then the board, the 2x4 or 2x6, whatever, sits in there. And I just finished putting on these rungs. So I got a bed up there. It was real light, too, just to move up and down. I did it myself in just, I don't know, 30 seconds? Not even, probably. So, so that worked out well. So I'm going to have the two bunk beds for the kids. Uh, adjustable heights, so I can give them plenty of headroom. And if we need to store something down here, put something down here when we drive... I can always shift a bed up and then have plenty of trunk space. Um, let's go over to the inside of the trailer. I finished the paneling up to a point. I just, I still have this, this corner here. I'm not fond of doing that corner. I didn't even do it the last year. It's just sitting like that. I got the wires to my uh, the Max Air fan here and dropped here and I'm gonna put the battery pack thing here. Um, these are the 2x4s I'm going to build the other bed with, as you can see. It's just one screw in each side. These are the um, boards I used for the, the big queen bed. So um, I just use the existing holes and just put one screw in. These are the 2x4s I had for the, the bunk, so they're the Hi. right length pretty much. And Hey, hey. Ava, how are you? I'm great. Yeah, you so like how do bed? I get up here? You've got to levitate. Use, <laughs> use the force. Yeah, and get up there. You're just going to um, okay. pick up some. Okay, okay, okay. So up? apparently stuff's going on now. So I have to move my car. Hello. How am I going to? Oh, hi. Let me say hi. Well, there's going to be another. The, the couch is going to be here. Who is this? So anyway, if you've never seen the E-Track on, it went in pretty good. Uh, it's into the plywood. Dad, with how am I going to get up? Lots and lots of screws. I alternated, so I don't even have... Dad, can you pick me up? All the holes gone. Oh my goodness. Who here has kids? Do you have kids? You know what it's like? This <laughs> can is what you it's pick like. me up? No, I can't Please. pick you up. So, so I used the five foot E-Tracks because I'm not going to have the bed, you know, up against the ceiling. So it worked out pretty good. Oh my goodness. Okay. So. Uh, and uh, I should be done in a little while with the other bed. Please. Okay. Uh, Dean, if you, why don't you throw Ava up there for me, okay? Is that one, two, three? Oh, no, that's not going to work. Okay, we have some stuff to do. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.